Hi everyone, it's Alex. I'm just making this quick video to let everybody know uh, that I've finally updated the uh, open core image that is on the Lenovo video. Uh, that video seemed to do very well, so I know that people are kind of interested in Hackintoshes and uh, the fact that it's a really cheap computer. I was using that specific Lenovo as a virtualization Proxmox server. Uh, but I've had to take quite a few of the servers offline uh, due to my internet in this garage comes in through a power line adapter and I noticed when I had like tons of virtualization uh, hosts running uh, it slowed the internet down significantly so I took that down uh, decided to mess about again with uh, the Hackintosh I found an EFI online I've modified that EFI um, to make it work with the latest version of OpenCore and done a few other bits uh, to it. The only thing you'll need to change is the SM BIOS uh, which is really easy. I think there's a, a, a bat script that you run, a bat script that you run there's a Windows script that you can run um, and it will generate your SM BIOS. I'll leave a link to the video uh, that is pretty straightforward. It explains it if people still don't understand it then I'll come back to it and explain that uh, specifically so that's all you'll need to do is generate that BIOS uh, SM BIOS so that your uh, iMessage will work uh, apart from that what I'm going to do is film it uh, testing the booting uh, I did make a video that I might tag onto this video uh, trying, trying to install I think I went for Ventura then Monterey and then Big Sur all on a HP laptop and none of them were booting I'm, I'm quite sure that and this is after doing a lot of the modifications triple checking things I think that the latest versions of Mac OS some, they're doing some stuff in the background to stop the Hackintosh community working I mean that was the big reason they went to the um, M series one of the big ones apart from the performance gains and gains and stuff like that it was, you know, Hackintosh will only work on Mac systems uh, instead of Hackintoshing. So I'll put the link to that uh, below. There is two uh, EFI folders, so if one doesn't work, I think one is a slightly older version of Mac OS. It could be one's Monterey, one's Big Sur, and then one's Catalina. So it's it's really just trying each one and finding which one works. But you will need to generate your SM BIOS for each of them because it will have the one that I've used in it. Um, although it's just a test system, so I'll generate another one after that. It's really just to get you guys off and going. So that's, that, that's this quick video. Um, I've got some other stuff planned. I have been recording. I've been um, just doing lots of different things but I've, it's finding the time to just sit and edit uh, edit it and get it out so I wanted to make a specific video on Unraid as you can see behind me down there and um, these are fantastic servers uh, they're so cheap online I don't think the kind of uh, you can find them now but they, they do come back online it's the Fujitsu Primergy, I think, or Primergy, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, 120S3, and they are phenomenal. They've got hot swap, six hot swappable bays, you can get them so that they can have a SAS card or a SATA, uh, either one, uh, you can put GPUs, extra uh, networking, one of them, the one below is running Unraid, the next one is running TrueNAS, and I I just can't fault them as a system so I really want to do a video on this uh, I think I paid for the top one I paid 38 quid so you know that it's unbelievable and it came with two drive bays and then I think it was an extra tenner for the for the rest and the one below I paid a little bit more because it's slightly different um, but it didn't come with a raid card but it didn't need it uh, that takes SATA um, sort of 2.5 inch drive SATAs so I want to make a specific video just on them um, I've also got another video a few other videos that I want to make on uh, the Raspberry Pi's coming back in stock and also uh, the compute module 
bars. I've managed to find compute module bars online for 30 quid. Um, with it's the two, it's only the two gig of RAM Wi-Fi version. Uh, and this is the one that I think was 25 quid uh, that I've tested out at the minute. And this, you know, I mean, six months ago you couldn't find them at all. They were going these two gig models were going for sort of 80, 90 quid. So to find them this cheap uh, is a good time to uh, buy them, really. So I'm, I'm going to be making a video on this, and I've got a few other videos. One I want to try on the Orange Pi 4. Um, I've seen some great success with uh, Orange, Pi 4, Orange Pi 5. Sorry, I've seen some great success with uh, Proxmox on these. Uh, this is the 16 gig of RAM version, and I've seen people run these in a cluster. Uh, this is insane. Run them in a cluster, and Proxmox will run in a high avail high availability mode uh, between these nodes. It's insane. So I, I really want to. I've got this, and I've got a few other SBCs that I think would work really well together. Uh, the Rock Pi 3A and a few others. So I really want to try uh, that as well. So stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next one.